So now I have already created my fill layer with the light gray color. So now let's select the artistic text tool, left click here, and then select artistic text tool. And now left click and now type your text. So I'm just going to type the letter F, control A to select it. So I'm going to change the size to 800, press enter. For the font, I'm going to keep it to Arial. I'm going to change the style to bold. Now let's select the move tool. I'm just going to place it here like this and now I'm going to change the text color to white so I'm just going to drag here from the color wheel I'm just going to change it to white and now I'm going to add an outer shadow left click on the FX here layer effects and now select the outer shadow left click here to check it I'm going to increase the radius and then I'm just going to increase the offset so I'm going to decrease a little bit like this so for the angle here, I'm just going to double click. I'm going to change it to 330, press enter. And now I'm just going to click on the X here to exit. So this effect can work on pixel layout and vector. And now we need to create a linked duplicate to make our text editable. So now I just go to edit, duplicate, and then select linked. So here it is, we have two linked layers here. If I change one, it will change the other. So now I'm going to select the top one. I hide one to hide the other so now if you want to change for example what features are linked between the layers just go to window general and then select links so now for example here if I uncheck the opacity and visibility if I hide one it won't hide the other so I'm going to leave them as they are and now make sure on the move tool make sure to uncheck the snapping and now hold the shift key down and then move your layer to the left so as you can see my cursor changes so hold shift key down and then move it a little bit to the left so here it is and now keep holding shift key down and then move it to the top here to skew the layer so hold shift key down as you can see the cursor changes and then just move the cursor to the top here when the cursor changes hold shift key down and then move it up and now we're going to use the power duplicate feature in Affinity. So hold the control key down and then press the J key to create duplicates. So as you can see when duplicating, it's duplicating with the same amount here of the transform we did. So now just keep pressing the control key and the J key to create duplicates. So here I think I'm going to leave it here. And now make sure on the move tool. I'm going to select all the layers and then all the letters here and then click on this icon here to place them in a group so here it is and now since the layers here are linked if I select the artistic text tool double click so for example if I change the letter to D so here it is or N so now you can also change the font so for example I change it to Anton so I'm going to bring it back to Arial. So now as you can see when we clicked with the artistic text, it, it selected one of the layers. So now make sure to close the group, select the group. So now I'm going to select the move tool. I'm going to move it here like this. So now for example, let's select the artistic text. I'm going to double click. So I'm going to change it to F. So if I want to add another letter, so it doesn't look that good. So I'm just going to press the backspace to go back. So now let's close the group, select the group layer. So now if you want, for example, to create a word here using this effect here. So I'm just going to duplicate this layer, right click, duplicate. I'm going to select the move tool. I'm going to place the duplicate here. And now make sure to select this one here, the first layer. This one here, I'm going to rasterize it. Since if I change this text here, it will change the this one here too. It will change both of them. So now select the move tool, right click on it and then rasterize. And now let's select this one here, this group. I'm going to, for example, to select artistic text. So I'm going to change it to L. Now select the move tool. I'm going to close this group here. Select the group layer, right click, duplicate. I'm going to move it here like this. And now I'm going to select this one here, previous one. Right click on it, rasterize. And now let's select this one here. Select the artistic text. Double click inside, I'm going to change it to I. So now select the move tool. I'm going to close the group, select the group, right click, duplicate. And now I'm going to move it here like this. And now let's select the I, the previous letter here, right click. 
rasterize and then let's select this one here select artistic text so for this one i'm going to change it to p so to create the word flip so for this one here i can leave it as it is 